Hello and welcome back to the channel and today I'm in a very very special place. I've come to West Cork. I'm almost at the most southern tip of Ireland so that's on Mizzen Head and I'm around five kilometers away from Mizzen Head and I'm at a place which is called Three Castle Head and it's a place that I've wanted to visit for a long 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 time and now that lockdown is over and I can finally get back out again and I can travel in my county of Cork and like I said in my last a couple of episodes you know I'm very lucky because Ireland in, in, in Ireland Cork is the biggest county so I have a lot to be able to choose from but where I've come today is close to the coast it's a very 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 unique area it's a as it says three castle head so it's a head with three derelict castles that are on it and it is extremely beautiful so I've arrived early and you know we're going to explore we're going to take our time getting around here and um, with actually Dermot so the two of us are going to have a lot of fun I hope and hopefully get some nice shots weather conditions as you can see behind me it's a typical beautiful summer's day but you know that's still going to be nice I think for where we are so yeah let's go we'll go explore around here and we'll see what Three Castle Head has to offer. arrived and as you can see three castle head it's absolutely beautiful it's everything i thought it was going to be and hopefully it'll be a lot more when we get some different light as well that uh, we're expected by the forecast today but they're a very interesting set of structures they're right in the middle of nowhere there's a lake as well that's just over here it's a really really nice place i'm really looking forward to exploring it so let's go let's see what we can get today the first spot I've come to is just down by the lake here. There's some nice rocks that are there. You've got the three castles as well that will hopefully be nice in the frame. Light is kind of dull at the moment. It's in behind some clouds, but I expect that that's going to clear because there are some gaps within the cloud. But I'm going to get uh, set up here. I'm going to try and do and see what a time lapse would look like from here. I've borrowed the uh, Rhino slider from Dermid, so I'm going to give that a go. Uh, you might have seen that kind of used on the intro into here, but I'm going to try and do it now with a time lapse and see how we get on with it. Hopefully we might get some fleeting light as well, which will break through the clouds and light up these as well as I'm doing the time lapse. But I'm going to set it up in some different compositions and see what I can get. But yeah, beautiful, really happy to be here and I'm excited now to see what type of photographs I get today. I'm at the spot that I took the time lapse at, and I think it's going to make a lovely photograph. You can make out the three uh, castles just here, but with the reeds in front of me and some of the rocks as well, I think it's going to be a nice composition. I'm going to get a couple of handheld shots as I normally would to find my composition before I introduce my tripod and then lock it down. But it is incredible. It's actually 
more beautiful from the air than it is from the land. But I haven't really explored that much. I've arrived over here and then I've just come this way. But it's incredible. I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can get from here. This will be the first shot anyway. I'll show you that in a moment. And then we're going to go over by the castle there and see what we can get as well, see what type of compositions we can find. Come over now by the pathway that most people would use when they come here and you've got this fence that's running down here um, and what I've done with the camera and framed up is I can get the three because I'm on the wide angle lens I can get the three peaks so just off your frame at the moment but it's just up here but it appears in the, um, the, the frame on the Canon 60 and I'm shooting at f11 I want to get as much depth of field as possible because as you can see the way that flows off down into the distance with the lake it's actually quite beautiful and some nice clouds as well in the background so I want to have as much depth of field the depth of focus as possible and also I want to be able to control the light I'm not using any filters at the moment the sun keeps going back in and out behind the clouds but it's absolutely beautiful here it got a bit cold a moment ago hence why I have to wear this but um, probably take that off now again that the wind this moment has died down but I'm really happy to be here Really happy with the shots that I've gotten so far and I'm excited to see now once I go into the castle itself, see what kind of compositions I can find as well there. But beautiful, show you this photograph now and let's go into the castle. setting up a time lapse earlier and I really liked the composition that the time lapse itself was going to give so I've taken a couple of photographs as well here uh, with the camera just pretty much lying on the ground because there's a small bit of the sea pinks that are just remaining here um, and what I'm hoping to do is add a bit of color I suppose into the image now I can't get the three castles into the image here but two is going to be enough I imagine I hope anyway it's harsh light as you can see right now with the light that's shining on me but I've gotten some nice clouds as well in the background so it's actually perfect because it's lighting up here in front and I'm also going to be able to see the nice light on the clouds as well in the distance and then with the lake as well in between that I'm going to take the photograph here I'm going to try a couple of different things I'm going to go for an f4 because it's an f4 lens so that's the widest aperture I can get uh, try and get a small bit of bokeh with the castle from the lake falling into the background and then I'll also do one as well at f11 um, and probably f8 as well but I'll play around with the aperture anyway just to see which one will work I'm going to be quite close as well to here so I'm going to take that uh, shot and yeah I'm going to show you this one here and then I'm going to continue on down uh, by the water line here and shoot back up towards the castle because I think it will be some nice uh, photographs <music>
While I'm on the way down to the lakeside there to shoot back up this way, there's an old wall and again there's a lot of the sea pinks that are on that wall and as you can see behind me it's leading directly up then to the top castle at the, the number one or number three whichever way you want to look at it but I do think it's going to give a nice shot. Shooting at f11 and um, taking two exposures actually one because the sea pinks are kind of close to me they're just a small bit too close to an infinity so to be safe I'm going to take a photograph for that and another one as well for the castle. I hope it'll be a nice shot. You know, the sun is directly above as well, so it might be hard to control the highlights, but I'll play around with it anyway. I'll give you a look at what I get, but I think it's going to be a nice shot. So we're going to head down here now to the waterside and get a nice shot, I think, of the leading line of the bank coming up to the three castles on Three Castle Head. So we'll head down there to the last spot and then we'll check back in in a moment. The final area here now for today and I've come down by the lakeside like I said and there's a beautiful leading line of the bank and there's some of the flowers as well. It would have been great to be able to be here at peak of the colour but we were on lockdown so we couldn't get out but it's lovely because you've got a sweeping line, you've got the water below it, a bit of reflection, there's a small bit of movement in the water, it's not ideal but it's still lovely. And you know to think a place like this is in Ireland some people would travel as far as the Faroes to be able to see a lake with um, the coastal uh, cliffs either side of it. But here we have it in Ireland, it's in West Cork. And if you're ever in West Cork, come visit Three Castle Head. It's a beautiful spot to find, a beautiful spot to visit, not that hard to find. Um, and I'm really happy as well with the photographs that I've gotten today. So I hope you've enjoyed coming along in this episode. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button, give me a like, leave me a comment. And until the next time, Schlange Fall. Thank you.